top ways. Dismantlers and recyclers under e-waste management rules are vested with a long list of obligations to minimize the adverse effect of e-waste. This video shall explain the obligations of e-waste recycler and dismantler as provided under e-waste management rules 2016. Obligations of e-waste recyclers under e-waste management rules E-waste recyclers under EWM rules must abide by CPCB provisions relating to recycling processes. Every recycler should store and transport e-waste in an eco-friendly manner. Every recycler should adhere to the norms for inspection conducted by the officials of SPCB or CPCB. They are also accountable to facilitate the records to such officials whenever prompted. Any material not subjected to recycling process should be sent to the certified recycler. Any quantum of residue generated by a recycling process should be disposed of in a certified treatment storage plant. Every recycler is liable to maintain records concerning e-waste collected, dismantled, recycled and sent to the certified recycler in Form 2. The said records can be subjected to inspections performed by SPCB's officials. Every e-waste recycler is mandated to file an annual return via Form 3 with respective SPCB on or before June 30 following the financial years to which the re return relates. Procurement of waste electrical goods or component is permissible, provided such waste do not contain any radioactive material. Recyclers intending to procure such waste need to intimate SPCB and thereafter secure authorization for the same in the first place. Securing authorization from SPCB is a must-have requirement for e-waste recycler. Performing recycling undertakings without such authorization shall incur penalties for defaulting entities operating such recycling units. Now let's look at the obligations of e-waste dismantlers under e-waste management rules. Every dismantler should store and transport e-waste in an eco-friendly manner. Every dismantler should ensure apt segregation of e-waste. Post segregation, dismantlers should send the e-waste to the certified recycling units for recovery of valuable materials. Certified dismantlers are mandated to send non-recyclable components to certified disposal and treatment storage units. Dismantlers are liable to manage recalls concerning e-waste collected, dismantled and mobilized in Form 2 and make such records accessible for inspection to SPCB. Every dismantler is mandated to file annual returns via Form 3 with the respective SPCB on or before June 30 following the financial year to which such return relates. Certified dismantlers cannot process any e-waste for refining or recycling any materials in the absence of SPCB's authorization. So that's it for this video and for more updates, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.